it's Cassie Delore with ET. We are hanging out in the studio with the lovely, the beautiful, the talented Carly Pierce. Carly, how are you? I'm so good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm so excited to talk to you because we have been teasing and talking about your upcoming sophomore album for so long now. I know. And it's right around the corner, February 14th. I mean, how are you feeling? I really can't believe that it's here, but I am so, so, so ready and so like just, I, I just want everybody to hear everything and want to get this music out and get mm -hmm. these stories out and start playing them live. Well, luckily, I mean, we've already gotten four tracks that have already been released. And I mean, what, what has been your mindset going into this album, maybe as opposed to the first time around? I think I'm just more sure of myself and mm -hmm. sure of who I am in, in the format and mm -hmm. my place in country music. So I feel like I'm coming into this with like a little bit more confidence mm -hmm. and more happiness. I was gonna say <laughs> you could. I have I've had a sneak peek listen of the album, and you can tell you can tell that being in love has played a part in this album. Oh my gosh, it's the heartbeat of the album. It's the mm -hmm. reason why I feel like so many of these songs yeah. came to be, and why so much of my story mm -hmm. past just being the girl who got her heart broken yeah. is, is evolving. He's helped me to evolve. Yeah, from every little thing to this, it's like yes. a full circle. I, I love it and we're so happy for you. you. And of course, you know, this 13 song collection was produced by your late friend and producer Busby. Mm -hmm. When you guys finish this album, what did he say to you? Because I know just by his social media, I, I don't know him personally, but you could tell he was so proud of you. Mm. Oh gosh, he signed me when I was uh, an artist that had had a record deal and nobody mm. wanted anything to do with me in 2015. And so to see it all come full circle, we wrote so many of those songs together, we wrote every little thing together. Mm -hmm. uh, when we got to the end of this album, I think both of us just kind of looked at each other and we were like, this album is gonna take you to the next level. And this is gonna make you mm -hmm. really just be able to stamp your place in country music. And a lot of people don't know, but literally like days after he turned in my album was when he found out that he had brain cancer. And uh, it's the last body of work that he ever finished. Mm. And that feels like he almost just was able to, he helped me get the wings and fly. And now I get to carry his legacy on. In a lot of this album, did you guys work on it here in California? Mm -hmm. We is, did. Is that emotional for you to be back here and kind of, do, do you feel his presence? Oh my gosh, I feel him a lot. Mm -hmm. We were more than just uh, co-workers or co-writers mm -hmm. or producer artists. We were friends, we were family. Yeah. And uh, it feels a little different to be back here. We recorded mm -hmm. a lot of that, this record in Altadena. Uh, and it's uh, something that is bittersweet for mm -hmm. me and something that I think you know, as the album comes out and as I continue to talk about it, it'll uh, hopefully just continue to shine yeah. a light on him. Do you, do you get signs that he's near? I feel like- I've asked Michael actually the same question mm -hmm. about his grandfather. He so, says the pennies. The penny thing mm -hmm. with his family and the feather with mine for my grandfather. Um, with Busby, I it's so interesting. The night that he, or the day that he passed mm -hmm. away, uh, we didn't know until later that evening, but my mom had had a dream about him the night mm -hmm. before and he was an amazing uh, pianist mm -hmm. and he was playing in a room and I felt like that was like a weird sign for me. And uh, I, 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 I do, I feel mm -hmm. him and it's fun to have him around in my music. I feel him all the time. And I'm sure you are making him so proud. I mean, like I said, four songs from this album are already out. One of them being your collaboration with Lee Bryce that is officially top 20 Woo! on country radio. I mean, yes. Huge congratulations, especially as a female in country mm -hmm. music to break through on the radio and be in the top 20. And I feel like this song is only going to continue mm. to climb. How are you and Lee celebrating? I know it just made Made it official, but we we've been texting back and forth. I mean, this is my fastest song mm -hmm. to get into the top twenty. Uh, it's pretty crazy. It's so good. But it's, it's so good. <laughs> thank you. It's just awesome, and I love Lee. I didn't know Lee well before this, mm -hmm. but I just had a feeling like one of those gut 
feelings, that's him, that's the voice, that's who I need on this song. Mm -hmm. And he just is able to emote in a way that, obviously I wrote the song with Luke Combs, but Lee just took it vocally somewhere that like I didn't even know it could go. Yeah. And just to be on a song that I wrote that's my story, having all this happen with somebody that I respect so much as an mm -hmm. artist and a songwriter is so fun. I love that. And honestly though, like you're, you two, your voices is like the duo that we never knew we needed <laughs> in country music. I love it. So we have, Four songs already out. Mm -hmm. There's 13 songs on the album. Mm -hmm. And you've been teasing that there might be one more coming before the official album release. Yes. Well, lucky for our fans, you have brought a little gift. Yes. We have about a 10 second sneak pee preview of one of Carly's upcoming newest songs from the album. <laughs> it is called Hearts Going Out of Its Mind. Take a listen. Boy, whatever you say, Now, you actually, you are a writer on this song. Mm. I feel like, did someone by the name of Michael Ray happen to uh, inspire this one? <laughs> I wrote that song three days after our first date. Ah! Yeah. Oh my so God! So this is like the song where I went in and I was like, I know that I sound completely crazy, but I feel like I just had my first date with my husband. And they all were ah. like, who? And I'm like, okay, well, here's the big kicker. It's Michael Ray, and they're like, what? But we wrote this song so fast, and it's that little, I feel like your songs are babies and markers of mm -hmm. your life, and that was like the marker where I knew. Yeah. I knew immediately. Oh, you knew right away that he was <laughs> the one. I feel like he would say the same about you as well. I hope so. What did he say when he listened to that song for the first time, knowing that he was like the inspiration behind it? I sent it to him, I emailed it to him. We were both out on the road, and I just said, hey, I wrote this today, and I said, I can't get you out of my head and Ooh. sent it to him and he loved it. And Aww. that was like a fun little way for two artists, songwriters mm -hmm. to like flirt with each other was yeah. to send songs back and forth. But that was the one that made the record and I always was like, I hope that this works out because I oh. like this song. <laughs> yeah, I can't get rid of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you guys also too have a song together, which is something you told us back at the CMAs that he would be on the album. Look at y'all, you're Aww, so cute. he's so cute. Your track, Finish Your Sentences. Yes. I mean, it is, it is just like, it will give you butterflies. <laughs> I mean, why that song in particular? Because actually, you, you guys did not write this mm -hmm. one. This one is a familiar face written, uh, this one not, this was written by two familiar faces, I should say, Kelsey Ballerini and Thomas yes. Rhett behind this track. So why that one? When I heard it, Thomas and my label head, Scott Bruschetta, mm -hmm. sent it to me, and obviously Kelsey's a friend. Yeah. Uh, and I heard it, and I felt like, for this album, the heartbeat of the record is the fact that we uh, we were dating and we fell in love. And because we are married, we're gonna have our it's your love moment. We're gonna have those moments to have mm -hmm. those really big heartfelt love song duets. Mm -hmm. But that isn't the stage of life that we were in during this album. And when I heard Finish Your Sentences, just the unique way that they intertwined phrases and they really do finish each other's sentences. I was kind of mad that I'd never thought of that because it's <laughs> such a common phrase yeah. that we say, but it really felt like the beginning of our story yeah. and kind of the the start of our duet mm -hmm. singing situation. And there's also like a line too, and I don't want to give too much away about like drinking wine. And I was like, that is, that, that's you guys. I literally was like, are you sure that you guys didn't write this song for me before you even knew that I was going to date Michael? Yeah, yeah. I love it. Now, have you two actually like sitting down, like sat down and written a song together yet? We haven't. Okay. We haven't. Y'all got the rest of your lives. Yeah, I think that we will. And I think it'll happen super organically. Obviously mm -hmm. we sing together a lot. He yeah. actually sings at home a lot more than I do. Okay. <laughs> he would die if he knew that his uh, suitcase was going to be. I said, that was the I first thing it. I noticed when I saw it on your Instagram. <laughs> that is not my suitcase, by the way. <laughs> is he, so who's the, cle like the, the super tidy one at home? Okay. Me. That's how. And he's not bad. He just, mm -hmm. He is not a very clean packer. So when we posted okay. that photo, I was like, I'm sorry that I'm exploiting you. And he's like, okay, it's fine. Hey, life on the road, right? I mean, you guys have been married for just over three months, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. How is newlywed life? It's it's great. It uh, I don't know. I feel like not much has changed mm -hmm. in the sense of we already live together. Mm -hmm. and But it's, it's sweet when you can just make that promise to each yeah. other and, and it's your best friend and yeah. you you know that you have somebody that's always there in your corner mm -hmm. and just uh, promised you forever.
Do you guys have like rules for your marriage now? Because you guys are touring artists and you're very busy. Do you have something where you're like, we can't go more than two weeks without seeing each other or whatnot? Like you have to like FaceTime at least like once a day when you're apart or anything like that? We talk a lot. Like some people don't talk mm -hmm. all day or anything, but we text all the time. Even if somebody <laughs> can't respond, like yeah. we always send each other notes yeah. and we don't like to go two, two mm -hmm. weeks without seeing each other. It just doesn't breed for good. <laughs> I wanna say that Keith Urban has that rule too. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I feel like it's him and Nicole and hey, look at them. They, they work. <laughs> yeah, I feel like all the girls in country music, mm -hmm. Kelsey, Marion, we've all kind of like kept tabs and yeah. we feel like two weeks just, yeah. it's not good for you. You need to, you need to be able to yeah. create those boundaries. But I think until you're in this situation, you, I feel like we're still trying to figure out what is our rhythm, mm -hmm. what is our normal. I love that you just mentioned Kelsey and Marion because it reminds me of the photo that you guys posted not too long ago of each other. You guys had like a little GNO, a girls night out. Are you so excited to be Auntie Carly? Oh Marin is pregnant. It was really <laughs> funny. That particular night, she told us that they, she told us when she wanted to get pregnant. Okay. And she was able to do that. But wow. you know, when you have a schedule like hers, you yeah. have to plan it out. But mm -hmm. we were like, oh my gosh, yeah. that's so awesome. And I'm so happy for her yeah. and everything that's going on for her. Um, yeah, it's gonna be like the most musical baby ever. Oh my God, I know. Between her and Ryan. The I'm like, kid of Ryan Hurd and Mary Morris, yeah, I mean. I'm, I'm, she is genuinely, mm -hmm one of the nicest, yeah. um, no, just good-hearted so girls. So I'm, she's gonna be a great mom. And so are you one day. If, oh. you, know, if you and Michael we would like to have that, yeah. I need to get to Marin status. <laughs> I will say, you know, I will say, you know, obviously a friend of a friend, I've known you for a while. Um, I saw your Insta story the other day and it was like not drinking for a while. And I was like, I mean, it could be dry January. <laughs> I was like, or I was like, oh, does she have something to share? But. Do you know how many people, because Did I didn't people say you? dry January, I said not drinking for a yeah. while. Yeah. So I felt like I Nine went months. back on and I was like, listen, it's just dry January. I'll be dry back on January, the sauce next, guys. next month. Oh my <laughs> God. I cannot with that. That's so funny. I mean, what, so what is in store? Like obviously 2020 for you and Michael going to be very busy. You're about to, you know, hit the road with Old Dominion. You have yes. some dates with them. You know, what, what what's in store for the Rays? Oh um, for the Rays. I know. Uh, and you legally just changed your name, right? I did. Yes. yes. I... It's gonna be busy. Mm -hmm. a, a new album, just of getting to really dive into that and, mm -hmm. and put that, my heart and soul now gets to be given to all the country fans. Um, very busy year touring, more than I can tell you yet. <laughs> um, and obviously just enjoying and finding my balance with my personal life. I never really had a personal life before. Um, I, I didn't really have a reason to go home and now I do. So. Now you have a whole husband. <laughs> now I got a whole husband. A whole you. husband. And Carly Pierce, congratulations on everything, both personally and professionally. It's always great to see you great shining. To see you. And you guys, Carly's sophomore album, self-titled, is coming out February 14th. Trust me, I've listened to it. You are not going to want to miss it. And of course, her songs that are already out now, go stream yes, them, buy go, them, all yeah. of it. Carly, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you.